Hi everyone, this is Becky from Life Foods and today we're going to be talking about the power of juicing. Now if you haven't already done this, juicing is a great way to really boost your health. So we're going to look at some of the reasons for that. Now in our house we try and have at least one juice a day. Uh, we're not always successful depending on how busy we are but um, we really believe that it is a key to having vitality and health. So let's look at some of the reasons for that. So why should we juice? Now it's a great way of upping your intake of vegetables and fruits. Lots of people struggle to get the right amount of veggies and fruits into their daily diet. And when you have a juice, you hear one glass would contain a significant portion of few portions of fruit and vegetables so rather than eating through a whole plate of vegetables you just drink a glass of juice and you're getting a whole load of vitamins and minerals into your system it delivers really fast nutrition to your body now the reason for this is it's easy for your body to digest because when uh, vegetables and fruits are put into the juicer it does the pre-digestion for you so it, when you eat when you eat a stick of celery or a carrot your body has to work to digest that and it's not as easy for your body to get the nutrients um, from that so when it's juiced it's in a readily available form for your body so when you drink it your body is straight away filled with those nutrients that it needs to keep you healthy also when vegetables are cooked so if you're trying to up your intake of veggies and getting up your intake of vitamins and minerals unfortunately if you're eating cooked vegetables they're they're depleted in the nutrients because cooking destroys it. So when we juice them, we're having them raw so that vitamins and minerals are maintained in it. So you're getting them in their whole form and your body is getting what it needs. You can also add a wider range of vegetables to your diet when you're juicing. So you just bung them in the juicer, make a juice and there you've got it. You can use a whole variety and get loads of nutrition from it and it also in my opinion and many others tastes great and if you're not sure about some vegetables just give it a try and if you think it tastes a bit bitter add in a bit of fruit to sweeten it up and yeah there you have it a great tasting juice so there are a few things that people need to be aware of before they start juicing and these are it's not a substitute for a meal so Juice, when you have juices, they're a great way of getting nutrition into your body. But you also do need fiber and bulk, which is missing in a juice. So you do need to be eating other foods as well um, when you are juicing. Uh, also, be careful not to use too many fruits, as fruits obviously contain natural sugar. And that's not as bad as having um, white sugar in it process form but it can still elevate your blood sugar levels so you want to be looking at getting more on the vegetable side than the fruit side um, now ideally when you make your veggie juice you want to be drinking it straight away because when it's left out it um, the nutritional content of it depletes so drink it as soon as you make it rather than leaving it even leaving it in the fridge it will still deplete in its nutritional value so I suggest drinking it as soon as possible um, and uh, one other thing that is important is try not to drink it with a meal try and do it 20 minutes before so that it gives your body a chance to digest it um, and get as much of the nutrition out of it as possible and then if you have eaten a meal try and have a juice two hours afterwards as opposed to straight away because your body's already working to digest the food that you've just eaten so you want to give it the best chance possible to assimilate the nutrition from it okay so what is a good juice to start with if you're not used to eating um not eating, drinking vegetable juices, then you may be wondering, oh, where do I start? So uh, I would say you want to be getting lots of green vegetables. But to start with, I would just suggest a great one is celery, cucumber, fennel, apple, and carrot. Tastes great. 
uh, the apple sweetens it up and has so many different nutritional um, points that are good for you. You've got celery which contains sodium, it's rich in water, you've got cucumber and fennel has many nutritional values in it and apple and carrot which we all know are really rich in antioxidants and beta carotene and you'll get a whole heap of vitamins and minerals from these choices. So when you get a bit more used to having vegetable juices, you will want to start adding in as much green leafy vegetables as possible. So you might want to start with spinach, um, different lettuces like endive, and then work up to adding in dandelion greens, kale and mustard greens. These will all provide you with um, a rich form of chlorophyll which is great for cleansing out your body, detoxing, um, supporting your liver. And uh, these green vegetables are also rich in iron, which is an essential um, mineral for energy levels and keeping your blood healthy. So when, when you have added in your extra green leafy vegetables, you might want to think about adding in some extras. Uh, so you could put in herbs like coriander and parsley, which are great for your blood and have a, also have a cleansing effect on your body. And also add a bit of flavor to your juices. I love to put ginger in my juice. Now, lots of people know ginger is good for um, boosting your immune system. It also has anti-inflammatory um, properties and if you've got a cold coming on it's a great one to add in to your juices and if you are putting in um, greens and you find it's tasting a little bit bitter a great way to neutralize that bitter taste is just by putting a squeeze of lemon or lime into your juice and this will um, help to balance out the bitter taste so juicing has been used uh, in by many people as a healing treatment and now um, it can be used for uh, many different illnesses um, alternative therapies have used it to treat different things especially people that have an illness that's associated with mineral deficiencies when you use a when you have a vegetable juice you're allowing your body to heal itself and getting the minerals that it needs now the Gerson therapy, um, which you may or may not have heard of, has, be, has very successfully treated a great number of people with cancer. Um, their primarily, prim, primarily, primarily mode of treatment has uh, been through juicing. And this is because they believe it boosts the nutrition in the body and gives where many people have deficiencies. It cures those deficiencies by giving the body what it needs and many people have been healed um, from cancer by using by using their mode of treatment which part of it is juicing not it's not the whole component but it is one of the key component components for, on their treatment plan um, also uh, it floods your system with nutrients and gives your immune system a real real boost